Hi, it's Barbara. Welcome back to Wiki Design. Today I'm going to show you how you can change the pages that are generated automatically in WooCommerce after you install the plugin. By default, there are a few pages that are created in WooCommerce. We have the cart page, the checkout page, my account, refund and returns policy, and the shop page. These are all generated automatically after you install the plugin. But if you need to change these pages for whatever reason, you can. But it's a little confusing on how to actually change the settings in WooCommerce. Let me start by showing you what these pages look like. So if we go to edit on the cart page, you'll see that there's this short code called WooCommerce underscore cart. This is displaying the cart in WooCommerce. And that's all that there is on this page. If I go to view this page, you'll see that we have a cart showing up here. So that's what this page looks like. But on the back end, the only thing that's showing is this short code. And that goes for all of these pages. If we go to the checkout page, the same thing. We have WooCommerce underscore checkout. If I go to view this page, you can see that we have the checkout options page here where people can put in their billing and shipping information. So if we need to change the name of these pages, what we have to do is add a new page and then paste the short code from WooCommerce onto the page. So in order to do that, I'll click add new. I'm going to call this one shopping cart. Now again, all I have to do is paste in the short code for the WooCommerce cart in order to display the WooCommerce cart on front end. So I've pasted that in here, and then I just have to hit publish. So if I go to view page, you'll see that I have the shopping cart displaying on this page now. If I want to style this page or add elements to it, I'm able to do that just like any other page, but we have to make sure that this short code lives on this page somewhere in order for the WooCommerce elements to display. Now what we have to do is change the page in our WooCommerce settings. So we're going to go to WooCommerce settings and then advance. And you'll see here under page setup, we have all of the names of the pages here. So we have to change our cart page to the new one that we just made. So if you close out that and you just begin typing in the title of the page, it should show up. So we'll click shopping cart now. And then we go down to the bottom and hit save changes. So now the cart page that's associated with WooCommerce is the new shopping cart page that we just created. So if you wanted to do this for additional pages, you would just have to create the new page, paste in the appropriate short code from WooCommerce, and then come here under advanced in our WooCommerce settings and change out the pages in here. This is something that I get asked a lot because it's kind of hidden in the settings. You don't necessarily know where to go. By adding new pages, you get to customize them a little bit more. You can add different things to the page that aren't there by default. So this is how you go about changing those pages in WooCommerce. This video is part of a series of videos that I'm doing on WooCommerce. I have a whole playlist, which I'll link down below so you can check it out and learn more about this platform. If you want me to make a video on something specifically related to WooCommerce, leave a comment down below and maybe I'll make a new video about that. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.